Most of you are probably going to think this video is crusty, but in other ways, I made this video for entertainment purposes only. Don't judge me. What's going on, children of the plague? Sid Kraken in the building, and welcome to another episode of Sid's Corner. As usual, it's usually an honor to do every single episode every Sunday. I usually do it every Sunday. No promises, no nothing. I, I know I tend to make other videos. I don't know, sometimes during Sundays, I'm not really sure. But for the most part, my number one priority every single Sunday is to have the chance or take out the time to make another Sits Corner video. Today, there's a lot that's going on in the gaming industry, and I actually want to speak on a couple of things. This is related to Valve. Valve has done this experimental system where they're taking a whole bunch of teenagers and they're putting them in a group and giving them objectives of how to go through different uh, types of things in the gaming industry, how to get started, uh, music, art, design, all that. It's it's a program called Pipeline. And I was pretty interested because, of course, Gabe wanted to put this message towards a lot of teenagers out there that are very talented. So I looked a lot into this and I gotta say that it's really decent. I, I like it a lot. So I thought, I'm gonna sign up for this because who knows if there is a chance for somebody to work at Valve or even get a field trip to go to Valve, which I, I really doubt that. I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm over exaggerating a little bit. That just got me hyped up. Just to think about you, a person who wants to make video games or a person who wants to get into the industry, matter of fact, to some type of technology, web design, programming, anything like that. This is what Pipeline is meant to be. And hopefully a lot of people are going to get started. Of course, teenagers like myself, but you never know. It could have like possibly happen. You think that you're gonna get into Valve. Like really, think think about this now. You you wanna get into Valve. Who who is this guy? Who is this guy? Like Valve is like the second best video game company in America, maybe all over internationally. Really? No! What? Okay, okay, okay. First off, I don't know who the heck you are. Like, you're interrupting the Sid's Corner show. Like, this is my time, bro. This is my time. You're interrupting my show. You're questioning whether or not if I can become a part of it. Like, come on, man. Really. D do you think you have what it takes? Really? Just... Who, who the heck are you? You don't have to worry about me. You keep continuing and do your little show, and... Just pretend I'm not even here. I won't comment anymore. And you got it. You're lucky. You're lucky I'm allowing you on my set right now, even in my room, okay? Like, I, I wouldn't even bother, but I'm gonna just, you know, like you said, I should do me and do my show. But I'm gonna just say this. This is my policy to you, buddy. Do not say anything. Do not even comment once. Even if your life depended on it, don't even comment once. The Steam Summer Sale has started. And of course, since I do have my gaming PC, I have taken part into this um, tradition I call it. I literally call it a tradition. I don't know why, that's just me. Uh, I literally call it a tradition because it usually happens every single year and everybody gets hyped up because there's so many games that are new and that are on sale this is a great opportunity especially for me since i just got the new gaming pc i can buy games now like come on i got metro 2033 for like what five bucks come on 75 percent off almost 80 percent off is like that's worth it. Your best bet is if you are a PC gamer and you're not partaking in the Steam Summer Sale, you are missing out on a lot of games, especially newer games like Tomb Raider, which I wanted to get, which was like ten dollars, no, twelve dollars and forty nine cents. That's really that's a big, 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 big cut. What the heck? Literally, okay. Are you kidding me, bro? Bro, are you are you kidding me? You, like, come on. Look at these sales. Look at this. Like. Look at, look at these games, man. Look at this. Come on, you got Fallout New Vegas on sale, Portal 2 on sale, Remember Me on sale. What are you doing on my computer? Like, really? You're not buying any, I should buy some of these games for you. You have like, what, $24 left in your account? You, you tend to say you're not gonna comment, but I should have said before that, you should not touch anything that is mine. No, come on, really, come on. Look at this, look at this, I get you Sims 3. You get to play as that favorite character you want to fantasize about. Huh? Don't even buy me Sims 3. Just don't buy me Sims 3. I have no care. I don't even know what the heck you're talking about. 
I have no characters that I fantasize. All right, all right, fine then. Just continue doing your show. As you guys may know, this guy here, he's the one that ruined the whole video for me. So this sits corner is now ruined. Hopefully, I don't see him again. Stupid idiot. For ruining the sits corner. I don't even know where the heck he came from, so. He looks like Master Splinter. Come on. No, come on. I don't look anything like that. You know what? Give the video a thumbs up, guys, if you enjoyed it. Whatever. This guy just ruined it. I'm going to have to knock him out now because he's going to buy Portal 2 or Sims 3, which I told you not to buy. You know what? Whatever. Peace.